While many think of the Canary Islands as nothing more than a beautiful vacation destination, there is a terrifying threat seated along the southern area of the island La Palma. Before we discuss the threat, let's talk about the Canary Islands' origins. The islands, situated off the northwestern coast of Africa, came about as a result of underwater volcanic eruptions over a massive gap of time. The underwater volcanoes would erupt and push magma to the surface, which would then cool and form a new surface layer. Over the millennia, these layers peaked through the water and formed the island chains known as the Canary Islands. Some of these volcanoes are still very active, and one active ridge in particular is the topic of this video. But, before we go any further, if you enjoy our material, please give us a like and comment below and hit that bell so you don't miss our newest videos. Alright, let's dig in. Meet Cumbre Vieja. At the time of making this video, Cumbre Vieja has been in an active eruption for a few months now. Its lava flow has wreaked havoc on the local area, destroying thousands of buildings and even enlarging the island as it meets the ocean and cools down. It also erupted twice during the 20th century. While Cumbre Vieja is definitely a local threat for those that live on La Palma, that's not the reason it makes our list of reasons to prep. You see, it's the potential collapse and failure of the volcano that's the true threat to society at large. This is due to the possible shearing off of part of the island, which in turn could cause a mega tsunami with massive destructive power. This concern has valid origins. Over the years, La Palma has changed due to the southerly migration of the hotspot and the collapsing of earlier volcanoes. Also, due to changes in the rift system, all of the volcanic activity for the entire La Palma Ridge is now concentrated at the Cumbre Vieja. This makes many scholars speculate that the western flank may be in the initial stages of failure. During the volcano's eruption in 1949, the preceding seismic activity created what could be best described as a large crack in the island along part of the Cumbre Vieja's western ridge. Essentially, a portion well over a kilometer shifted one meter sideways and two meters downward. The concern is that if the island does shear during a seismic activity or volcanic eruption, a large mass collapse into the ocean could occur and this will in turn create a mega tsunami more destructive than one could imagine. Let's take a look at what that could look like. In this scenario, a massive landslide collapses into the four mile deep Atlantic Ocean off its coast, rapidly displacing the water with 500 billion tons of rock, creating a mega tsunami with a 2,000 foot tall undersea wave. The tsunami immediately rushes out in all directions reaching speeds up to 500 miles per hour. A 330-foot wave would strike the Western Sahara in less than one hour. Europe would be largely protected due to the placement of the other Canary Islands. However, it would still strike Lisbon and La Coruna with 33-foot waves within three hours. After only six hours, it would reach Britain, where waves up to 40 feet high would hit Southwest England at over 500 miles an hour. Those same waves would travel a mile inland and obliterate almost everything in their path. Dr. Simon Day of the Benefield Greig Hazards Research Center in University College London says, however, the destruction of the United Kingdom will be as nothing compared to the devastation wreaked on the eastern seaboard of the United States. Dr. Day claims that the mega tsunami will generate a wave that will be inconceivably catastrophic. He says it will surge across the Atlantic at least 500 miles per hour in less than seven hours, engulfing the whole U.S. East Coast with a wave almost 200 feet high, sweeping away everything in its path up to 20 miles inland. This wave will hit Boston first, followed by New York, then all the way down the coast to Miami, the Caribbean, and Brazil. Millions would die. While the death of millions is significant enough in and of itself, that's only the beginning of the havoc wrought by this mega tsunami. The totality of impact is hard to even speculate on. Just imagine the financial implications of Wall Street being wiped away in the blink of an eye. Or massive infrastructure damage to the sewage and freshwater supply of the surrounding areas. Many don't realize that most modern nations rely heavily on the trucking industry to bring goods to market. Couple this with the fact that much of the U.S. trucking industry is located along the eastern coast and you can only imagine the shortages and supply chain crisis the nation would fall into. 
there is a high probability that a number of nuclear plants along the seaboard would melt down, compounding an already dire situation. From environmental impacts to displaced refugees, a collapse of Cumbre Vieja certainly meets the criteria for a reason to prep. This is just one of many reasons to prep. Comment below and let us know what you thought of Cumbre Vieja. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you get notifications of each new episode as it comes out.